Okay. We stole a boat and <laughs> took it out on the water. And so we figured we'll see if we can go live out here. There's no, you know, Wi-Fi or anything. It's, it's that kind of bright out where you almost need glasses, but not quite. Kind, yeah. Um, it's overcast. It said we would maybe go live last week, and we did not. What was, day? Oh. It was a busy week. <sighs> it's been busy. So the funeral home we are working at is in transition as of being purchased by a corporation. All in all, seems like a good corporation. Yep. Um, not SCI. And so it's been kind of a transition period. And yeah. Um, so, but we figured we were like, you know what? We need to hold on. I, I didn't bring the tripod out. We barely, we did not really plan this. We're nope. going to just go wild and we jump were taking on a here. tool around the lake in the pontoon boat and decided to jump on live because I kept saying we were going to we really want to do a live where we play like a who knows each other better, better or like ask a question and then like hold up an answer and see we can we something. can do it we just got to set it up though. i know we need to do it we need almost like a third we might have to Im implore your son yes. one night to do that Braden will be a card flipper but so one question yes we're yes, on, a we boat. Are on a boat <laughs> <laughs> we stole a boat yes um we stole josh's cousin brother brother cousin yeah my brother cousin he it kind of makes I, us sound i little... live on a lake and i let him keep his boat out here and so we yeah. stole his boat and we took a ride because yeah. it's a beautiful night here. There's no wind, finally. There's no rain for a hot minute. So here we are. Um, so a question that we have gotten that somebody sent to my email was, what do our kids think about our work? <laughs> that's, a good, um, that's, that's a good question. So, and I don't think I've ever really... Thought about it? Well, I know what my kids think, but what does your son think about, like, what you do? He... It, it's really no big deal to him, I think, because I've been taking him when I used to do graveside setups and do burial vaults and be out in the cemeteries all the time doing setups. He was out there with me a lot on the weekends when I was working. And some days, you know, if he didn't have school or during the summertime, he'd go with me to work and he would just hang out in the, in the work truck and play with his toys and eat snacks while I'm working. But so he's been around it for a long time. I mean, he's met all the honor guards and seen all the military honors, and he always thought that was neat as a kid. And now that I'm working in the crematory, I took him over there once, and he saw everything I did and how everything worked, and he did. He seemed pretty uninterested. I mean, he just was kind of like, man, that's cool. Like, is he okay with his friends knowing what you do? Oh, yeah. And, like, it's not embarrassing? No, he always yeah. kind of bragged it up because it's just such a different occupation, I think. And, yeah, just not a lot of people are into it. Not a lot of people know about it. Maybe maybe it's kind of creepy. When you're a teenager, maybe creepy is kind of cool. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he's been that way since he was, like, in elementary school. But now that I'm, yeah, as a, you know, I didn't start working in the crematory until he was a teenager, of course. And, yeah, he's just, yeah, he, I think he, he cracks jokes about it to his friends sometimes. Yeah. When the subject comes up, you know, or if the subject of death comes up or anything like that, he's... You know, he's pretty matter of fact about it, but I think that's just because he's grown up around it. Because my girls, I mean, they've obviously it's been their whole life. I've been around the funeral home. They've been around a funeral home all my life. You know, they've gone in and they've waddled and toddled and whatever around and yeah. looked at the flowers. Flowers were always cool. And they would peek in the casket. I would lift them up and they would look at people. <laughs> and that kind of as a kid figuring out that who's in the casket is not going to move and do things and I tell the story of my youngest walking up and poking somebody in the eye and I'm like oh my gosh stop but to her that was like that's how I'm going to wake the person up almost or to kind of just check what's up yeah that's that's something because that's something that <clears throat> my son has never experienced he just JJ a minute ago asked how old the kids were um 14 9 and 7 i have yep. two girls he has a, boy. a boy yep and so and i have an older stepdaughter well ex-stepdaughter but i still claim her and she's 19 yeah but so i mean their concepts of death in different stages of where they're at is definitely different my kids being around dead people 
you know, literally their whole lives in different capacities. I understand when someone is laying there that they're dead. They don't fully understand what that means, which I don't think as adults we fully understand what that means a lot of the time, right? No. But, you know, as at 14, you understand a little more the longevity of what death means. So my kids are understanding some. But I know that, like, last year my daughter, like, when they were on COVID lockdown and they had these iPads from school and they were bringing them home, I had logged in under my login for her to use and stuff so she could do stuff. And she took it to school or it popped up and it said, carry the mortician. And she's like, mom, I was so embarrassed. I was on my zoom and it said, carry the mortician instead of my name. And I, Oh my gosh. Mom. And I was like, do That's you funny. understand that seven, eight, whatever she was at the time year olds don't know what the word mortician, mortician means. Yeah. Like they might understand fuel injector, but mortician, <laughs> They're probably yeah. not understanding. and they, But they have shirts that say future mortician on them because somebody had sent that to us, me and the girls. And the girls loved them. And they wear them still. They barely fit still, but they love them. <laughs> and I'm like, I fear, you're, you're that embarrassed. Why are you wearing the T-shirt? Right. So I don't think it's that big a deal. See, and that's, that's another thing I think is kind of neat is that your girls have been have seen dead bodies stuff like that that's one thing my son has not seen i mean he's seen the casket the caskets he's seen you know boxes and knows there's bodies in there but he hasn't been you know downstairs and by the prep room or anything like that where your girls have been and so you know i don't know how he would react to that you know that's something he's just never you know uh, he's never been and my girls Hard will of. go in and go, okay, is anybody getting their hair and makeup done today? And they don't go in the prep room, but they go in the hair and makeup area well, yeah, that's what I where mean. people are hair covered and, and they have a sheet on and, but there's bodies laying and they'll go in and they'll kind of just peek and see, and they'll talk to whoever's doing the hair and makeup, whoever might be in working. <laughs> and they it's understand funny. that that's part of the process. And yep. they ask questions if they want to ask questions or else they leave. But so, my oldest is now at the point where she'll say, ew, that's gross. And I was like, what is gross about that? And she'll go, but they're dead. And I'm like, that's a grandma. That's Somebody's a grandma. grandma yeah. So then I ask, so if grandma dies tomorrow, does she become gross? No, it's grandma and I love her. Okay, well... Uh, maybe the kids are less afraid of death than adults. No, I am terrified as all crap of a death. Like, I am petrified and I'm around it all the time. Huh. Yeah, you and are. my kids are scared of, I don't know if it's death per se, but it's the, the lack of somebody in their life. Loss. Yeah. Yes, it's the lack of being here or the lack of somebody being here. So, like, right now I they're terrified after the shootings and. Texas, my youngest is scared crap, like out crap all the time. And she's like, Mom, can I talk to you? Because I'm scared. And I'm like, sure, what's going on? It's sad. I'm scared of the school shooting stuff. And I'm like, honey, we are keeping you safe as much as we can keep you safe. You know, you are loved. Your dad loves you. I love you. It's just. Everybody loves you. And you are just as much able to die any point in your day not just at school like it's not just at school that something might happen but driving to school you're more likely to die than you are at school so trying to talk through some of that without scaring them even more yeah well it's just sad that that's the world we live in where things like that are happening all the time now it seems like yeah I mean, yeah when you have to do active shooter drills instead of tornado drills there's something wrong what are the questions you guys have for yeah, us? That got, that got serious. So serious. We need a little levity here. <laughs> little levity. Um, had a wonderful funeral today. I don't often, because I, the funeral home that I'm at the most where the crematory is connected, we do so many calls. I may work in one area, but to follow a family through where 
I meet with the family, I work the funeral, I, I do the burial and everything. It doesn't happen very often and got to do that today and it was so good because you connect more with the family. The more points you are with them throughout the process, if you do the removal, you do the embalming, you do the funeral, you do the arrangement, everything, it's like, oh, it's the best. Um, because you connect in all the areas and you're like their person through every step of it. And so today was, it was great. And the rain stopped because it rained earlier. So yeah, it's raining all day. How long have you guys been divorced? Two years. Has it only well, been two years? Three years. Three years. And I've been divorced about a year. So. Yeah, a year. Thanks. These are not even Ray-Bans. These are, I always thought aviators didn't look good on me and I tried on this cheapo pair and I, I kind of dig them. Uh -huh. So thank you. Um, we just had our one year actually of us dating, did our fun day climbing in the trees. If you haven't watched that video, yeah, that was fun. It was cool. It was a um, good time. We talked about like, Oh, should we go to dinner? Should we go to do that? I was like, Nope. We're gonna do something better. So how long have you dated online or off? Never online. We met at work through. Yeah. Um, through me being a vault guy at the graveyard. And me being a funeral director. Carrie bringing so no online. Funeral processions. Yep, I turned no on online. like Match.com for like a month <laughs> when I was like towards the end of my divorce, and I was like, yeah, I can't do this. Nope. And I've never online dated. I no turned thanks. on Facebook dating for about a hot minute, and <laughs> no, no. So I was kind of reserved. I was like, nope, ain't going to do it. And then he asked me out. He did. Yep, I made the first move. He texted me. So. Pretty classy. And said, <laughs> hey, can I take you to dinner? Yeah. How many cremations, cremations would you average per day? Uh, usually three to four average. Yeah. It depends if they're in a casket or yep. not. And, and I'm running a small crematory, only one retort one unit to burn bodies in so cremate bodies in so yeah yep online dating, dating is, is bs <laughs> oh joshua yeah oh my gosh that's I hilarious i bet it is <laughs> yeah. oh i feel you that's funny i feel you have you started school yet joshua how's school going so i have your lavender stuff on my desk still and I smell and like rub. I love it. Oh, that's cool. He sent me a present. Nice. That's great. Yeah. He's in California. California. I'm just making sure boats aren't creeping up on us as we're floating. Yeah. We're good. It's actually not bad out here to float. And as long as you guys have service, you guys aren't complaining about sound or video. No, that's so weird because we're out like here floating stellar. in the middle of the and lake. And I feel like everybody was complaining about the sound when we were actually at his in house. In my house, yeah. Yeah, online yeah. dating is, I don't know. I, there's good stuff there, but, yeah. Yeah, you hear the occasional good Ooh, story. Ooh, Lisa, yeah, yeah, you. 17 years, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, Lisa and her wife he said he's still want to take us, um, want us to come visit. Where's so, that at? North Carolina, right, Lisa? Oh, awesome. Yeah. Cool. We had for dinner tacos. Tacos. If we could choose every night, what would we have? <laughs> tacos. Tacos. In different variety. You know, chicken tacos, yeah. rabco tacos, wrapped up burrito -y tacos. 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 Yeah, they're having storms in Valparaiso. Yeah, we're going to get more storms tonight. I just looked at the radar. It's coming this way. Gee, yeah, exactly. I, <laughs> figures we shouldn't have said Can anything. I ask what is each of your end of life preferences? Go ahead with yours. Cremation. Yeah, mm, no. Stinky burial. I like to call it the stinky burial. So keep me around until you know I'm super funky and dead. <laughs> then put me in the ground. I just want to make sure I'm really dead before you put me in. But it's really up to my family. Like, if they want to embalm, keep me, look at me, I guess, do what you got to do. Um, all of it yeah. sounds horrible. Yep. It really, the whole thing just sounds when uh, my take on it is once you're dead your spirit's gone anyway and so whatever do whatever you want with me i guess i don't want any of it i, I prefer cremation know. just because it's super finite <laughs> sim well yeah and simpler and <laughs> just my spirit's gonna go somewhere it's fine 
Yeah, so Lisa said, yes, ma'am, in New North Carolina. Okay. I think we talked We talked about the, so there's a burial beer company down in North Carolina, and I really want to go. It looks really good. Are the costs for cremation rising like everything else now, Dave? So how's your inflation? Mm, so the prices are not rising as like gas prices are rising and groceries and everything else right now. It will happen at some point if everything keeps going up as drastically as they are now. Because yeah. it's going to have to. It's the trickle down effect. Yep. Farmer prices go up. Well, milk just, prices go it's up. It's supplies. It's a supply and it's chain. It's everything. Thing. Yep. And there's a lot of natural gas used in cremation for sure. In cremation oh, yeah. and trip from the crematory, driving a person to the crematory, yep. which includes gasoline in your car and it's just everything is going to be affected by inflation so eventually all the other costs are going to go all the casket delivery companies casket companies are charging additional delivery fees right now up to 150 200 dollars yeah. and funeral homes are passing that on to families because that's a lot of money you know 150 to 200 dollars per casket sale that adds you up think quick. that you think that maybe funeral homes make thousands of dollars on a casket sale it's not no. thousands of dollars maybe it's a thousand dollars okay but knock out 200 of that that's a huge part of the revenue that is factored into each call into each family served into each everything that revenue is all rolled back into how that business runs and facilitates and everything. So just like any business functions, you cut into one area of it, it's going to affect all the other areas. That affects pay for your staff. That affects heat. That affects coffee you can put out for a family. It just affects everything. Yep, it does. And so you have to just factor that into the big picture. It's not just, oh, poor funeral home lost $200. No, you know, multiply that. Across and then the board, yeah. Across the board. It is a big deal. <laughs> uh, no, no plans yet. No. No plans yet. No. No. What? She, <laughs> that's funny. What? What are you going to say? Nothing. Just we've had that question a couple times. No. We joke about a 12-year plan <laughs> because that's when all the kids are out of school. But, you know, it's one of those things like mm. when it, it, it's it's going good. Why, why mess it up? Yeah. I did get an yep. email from somebody the other day and offered their services. They do wedding programs. They do officiating. They do catering. They I do see. it all. We're already getting the bases covered. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we went to a wedding this last weekend and we were joking and I said if we get, if we ever got married the only way we're having a wedding is if it's an 80s themed like from the wedding singer like oh, yeah. I want like beads hanging off my veil Velvet. I want powder blue, powder blue tux. like yeah. <laughs> neon everything how fun would that be like a th super themed wedding so then I looked oh, up man. pictures of like 80s themed wedding and <laughs> like Miami Miami Vice Style. Yeah, I saw that. I like, do that. Like white suits Crockett with like, tub style. like pink t-shirts underneath. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> not, not, not right now. Thank you, but. I'm just joshing. <laughs> so somebody asked on our last live, what are pet peeves? <laughs> uh. So then now since I'm like, oh, put that one on the list. And when he makes that joke, it's one of them. Mm -hmm. That's why no. I make that joke. Yeah, Adam Sandler, it could, he is super invited to come marry us. Oh, yeah, us. if he wants to come to our wedding. I will wedding pay for him to married, be sure. ordained to get to <laughs> marry us, to whip out that little card or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> if you have an in with Adam Sandler, yeah, you let us know. We're down. Like, you, you can come to the wedding if you bring Adam Sandler with you. Most definitely. Right? Yep. So, okay. hey, Janet. I'm going to have to start the boat up in a second and move us. Oh, we're floating to shore. Yeah, I'll be right back. But, all right. He left me solo. Like, look how beautiful, guys. We were supposed to have rain all evening. I thought we were going to be watching Stranger Things, which, so, I love Stranger Things. I've watched the first three seasons. I'm holding off on season four until Josh can catch up because he finally started binge watching it. 
and yeah, we should have a taco bar at the non-existent wedding. Um, and so we've got to get him caught up so that him and I can watch season four together. Almost there. <laughs> my my giggle snicker. What the gig gig snicker? What should we? <laughs> we are out on a lake in Battle Creek, Michigan. So it is. It's gorgeous here right now. Like, come on. I'm so glad. I was like, we need some lake therapy. Oh, live stream our wedding when the day comes. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I think we'll, we'll probably owe it to you guys yep. to live stream it whenever, in 12 years, if you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> our 12 year plan. The 12 year plan. We're down to 11 already. Oh, yeah. We got down the first one. So <laughs> we're, woo, we're getting there. Yep. With a quickness. But, yeah. What are the questions you guys have? We'll wind down here, but thank you guys. It's yeah, this so has been nice. Fun. It's so nice to have support, and I love I love that you guys jump on if we yeah, jump cool. on and build a bucket list, a bucket list that Carrie and Josh get married. Or <laughs> hey, Debbie. Yeah. Um, we work tomorrow. Of course. Uh, the the girls are off for school for the summer starting this week summer so already yep oh changes everything and it's birthday month so me and the girls all are june birthdays so it's crazy because we've got kid birthdays and family birthdays and everything um she said do we like to grill out heck yeah i love grilling hey debbie we are out on we stole a boat out on <laughs> the lake yeah. that josh lives on we stole his cousin's boat yep so, yeah, we like to grill um, anything, really. And ribs. I like ribs. Meat. Meat. We're big meat yep. people. Um, sorry, vegetarians, but yep. we do. Venison. Mm. Yeah, any, any dead meat. Elk. Oh, yes. I've that's, never had moose. I don't think I've had moose. I've had bear. That's good. Bears I've are. I've had right. boar. I've had ostrich is one of the best meats I've ever eaten. Ostrich is good. I love ostrich. Um, I like elk though. What's the other? Emu. Emu. Yeah. Elk yep, burgers. Elk burgers. Yeah. Maybe I have um, had elk burgers. Those are the I best. have had elk burgers. Yep. Ah, uh, we we like to think we're fun. <laughs> Lisa, are you really? <gasps> you might get hired if Adam Sandler doesn't show up. Oh, look at that! A grill made from a casket. That'd be cool. Yes, there is. Um, when I go to Hearst Fest. There is one there, and that's what they sell their burgers off of. That's cool. It's pretty cool. I feel like I'm a roadie. <laughs> like, you're having a roadie, or you, you want to be a roadie? <laughs> right. Favorite band? Oh, my favorite band? I feel like we should answer this for each other. Ooh. Okay, if I had to guess his, it would be Led Zeppelin. Probably all-time favorite. Yeah, I would say so. Okay, who's my favorite band? Your favorite band? Well, or artist, either. Well, Ed Sheeran's one, and probably Train. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, it would be a band. Yeah. Yeah, but Led Zeppelin, old school rock and roll, and probably like new school stuff or new. Well, newer school to me is eighties <laughs> and nineties. So I don't know. Probably, who Alice in Chains is a big one. That's a big one. I don't even know a single Alice in Chains yeah. song. You are a roadie. Oh, nice. Like legit, like you load up. Who do you load stuff up for? Yeah. I'm intrigued now. Oh, I love music. I love all kinds of music, but mostly harder rock and metal and stuff. And but I I've, don't. See, and I've been to tons of festivals and concerts, and I still love going. Yep, some old ACDC. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, I'm, I've not been to very many concerts in my life, and... Don't love. I like like one or two songs from some of the bands and things that he likes. But he <laughs> yeah. went to a Tool concert recently, Tool, and yeah. he's like, "Do you want to go to Tool? I got these." And I was like, "No, <laughs> actually." So I took one of my buddies. I'm like, if yeah. I was twenty some, I would pretend I was interested and I would totally go. But I'm like, no, I would. I am not going to love this music for what you paid for these tickets. You need to take someone who'll appreciate it. So she just asked what attracted me to you. 
uh, Carrie's. Oh boy. No, seriously, Carrie's. <laughs> her just her bubbly personality and her beautiful face and her eyes. That's what attracted me. Mm -hmm. He likes my eyes. Yep. They're super green. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Alice Cooper. Oh, Alice Cooper's got a lot Alice in Cooper. Michigan here. Yep. He's got his hunting area. No, and... that's Ted Nugent. Oh. What am I thinking? Oh, my mom saw Alice Cooper at breakfast one day. Oh, really? He was playing in Kalamazoo or something, and she saw him at breakfast. That's cool. Um, Josh's birthday. birthday is in November. November 4th. I'm 46. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> reading stuff it's fun. yeah so christina the only reason and i was like i'm not trying to scam you guys i did the crematory videos because i wanted the information to be relevant more so than me dating somebody because i figured if i was like hi guys this is josh who i'm dating <laughs> right it would be more about <laughs> like oh my god you're dating than it would be about the cremation information and i really wanted that to be prominent in the videos so it wasn't trying to like, oh, ha ha, I'm just hiding out information on you guys. But it was more just because I didn't want it to be clouded over, I guess. Yeah. Um, But and it's funny now because I like <laughs> some people go back to some of the old videos and they'll watch them. And then they're like, oh, my gosh, you said you love Josh. And then you pause and then you say wine or you said the ick factor or, oh, my gosh, you said this. And I was like. Yeah. yeah, I did. I left little nuggets along the way. <laughs> but it's, you know, that part was kind of fun for me and for us that I yeah, could include him without including him because I really wanted to get into the relationship before exposing the relationship because yep. you never know. No, and she's the one that talked me into getting on camera because I never would have done this on my own. No <laughs> way. No way. Yeah. More haunted cemetery videos. Yeah, we're gonna we have do more some planned. more. It's time. Yeah, we have between running around like tonight. I'm like, I'm two, so tired. Two careers and well, Carrie has like three careers. I have one career, <laughs> and then we both have kids. And yeah, it's I hard. Mean, she's she's a well. You're not a single parent, but you have the girls the majority of the time or more time. Well, than... just a little more than half. And yeah. so, you know, we are, when we have the kids, we're single in our parenting. Yeah. He has a son full time really. And, yep. um, there's so many videos we want to do. There's Mount so Hope, many videos. Mount Hope Cemetery in Lansing. I've buried hundreds of people in that cemetery over yeah. the years. I've been up there, Mount Hope, Evergreen Cemetery. Yeah. Service that area a lot. Do your kids Got. I'm assuming you say get along. Yes. Yes. My girls love his son. <laughs> and, my, um, and my son is very good with all kids, man. He, he just is, He's a good kid. Yeah. He's a teenager. So as soon as he's done with him, he goes to his room where <laughs> he goes does his to thing. his space and he does his thing. Yeah. And the girls, the girls love Josh. Um, get along with him really well. We're puppies. I, and, puppies and little kids like me. That's I am about it. very lucky that my girls have four people to love on them. Yeah. My ex and his girlfriend mm -hmm. are great and love on my girls and Josh and I, they love all four of us. So I'm, I am very, very thankful. There's four amazing people in their lives. Yep. Oh, you're affiliated. With <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, I'm just laughing at the nodding along with the screen. That's like, funny. yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Like right now is a good phase. It's a oh, good yeah. phase. I know it can go sideways and I know the parenting can go sideways and I know things can go to crap and I know, you know, we can break up and they can break up and everybody, I know, and I can live in my happy little world right now. that Everything <laughs> is good, you know, especially like with all their birthdays coming up and everything and that we can do it all together. I'm very thankful for that yeah. because it's not about us. It's not about my ex and his person. It's about the kids and yeah. Cool. Oh, haunted Scor tour. Ooh. A Scorpio. She's a Scorpio too. Right um, yeah. So we've got a couple haunted cemeteries. We've got a really, really good one, which we have to look into. Yep. Yeah. We got to look into that one. Um, 
to do that we need to go and, and check out and do some videos. So there's a lot planned. It's time. But we're going to make some time to do a fun yep. little. And it doesn't take much time. Like 10 minutes. Run in the cemetery. Do a quick video. Yes. Yep. But we'll be bringing you more soon. Yeah. So we're going to wind down at this 30 minute marker. And the sun's about to just, dip down. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Just so How pretty is that? It's so nice. But thank you guys for joining us. Make sure to hit the little thumbs up. That makes a big deal. I don't know what algorithm it helps, but everybody tells it me you something. should hit the thumbs up button for the video. Yep. Um, and comment. I will respond to every comment. I try and get on and do that. And I appreciate you guys. Yeah, thank Mwah. you guys. See ya. Good night.